Hello, in this video, we'll see how a PLC takes commands from HMI, then we'll see what are basic objects for designing HMI screens. Finally, we'll do a simple monitoring project. Let's start with the previous program. So here we have a PLC and HMI which are connected together with this network. Let's see the PLC program. At the previous video, we have seen how a red circle can be designed for the HMI, to show this output is on. Now, we're going to see, how we can turn on this output from HMI. Pay attention, the address of this contact is I0.0, .0 which is an address of PLC input. Naturally, HMI cannot change a physical voltage at the PLC input. But it can modify PLC memory. So to turn on the output from HMI, we need to use contact with a bit memory of PLC. So, the HMI is able to change this contact state, to turn on the motor. Let's define a suitable tag for this address. The HMI will use this tag to turn on the output. Based on this program, the output, motor, can be turned on by PLC input and also from HMI. Now let's transfer this program to a virtual PLC. Now let's design the HMI screen. Here you can see the circle from the previous video. As you see, this circle is connected to motor tag of PLC, and if the motor is on, the circle will be red. Let's insert a switch, from the right list. Now, at the bottom, we can change the selected switch parameters. Click here. Now click here to select this PLC tag, which has been defined before. Also, let me change the color of the switch, for two states off and on. Now let's test the program. Let me back to PLC program, and sort opened windows to have a better view. As you see, we can turn on the output from HMI. Alright, let's see what are basic objects. On the right side, here, we have line, ellipse, circle, rectangle, which their parameters are similar together. Also, we can use text on the HMI screen.
With the last item, graphic view, we can insert any shape of TIA library. Or from our computer, such as this logo. Alright. When each object is selected, its parameter can be changed at the bottom. Like changing their color and line width. Also object's position can be changed manually, or from here by entering a number. Each shape has some specific parameters. For example, we can change the radius parameter for circles, not for rectangles. Here, we can use predefined styles for objects. In the last segment, we can change object names and determine its layer. But what is a layer? Let me change the object's layer. Now click on the screen. Here we can determine which layers could be visible on this screen. When a layer is inactive, all its objects will be removed from the screen. Now, let's see the animation tab. Here are three important choices, the first one is appearance. If you remember, we have used this part for the circle. The next choice is visibility. Let me select motor tag here. As you know, this tag has only two states. 0 or 1. Let me change this value to 0. Alright, let me read this comment. If you have selected the visible state for example, the display and operating objects remain visible, as long as the tag value is within the start and end value of the range of values. The object is hidden, when the tag value has exceeded the end value. So, when the motor tag is equal 0, it will be in the defined range. So, the selected text, motor is off will be visible, otherwise it will remove from the HMI screen. In the same way, I want to show this text, when the motor is on. In this case, when the motor is off, the selected text will be invisible, otherwise, it will be visible. The third choice is movement. Let me select horizontal movement. Here, the HMI can use a PLC memory value, to move the selected object. Let me use select instruction. This program will move 0 or 100 numbers to this PLC memory with this tag, which its value will be used for the rectangle movement. Let me transfer this program to the virtual PLC. Now, let's use the defined PLC memory here and then simulate the HMI screen. Alright, let's test this HMI screen. As you see, when I press this switch, based on my PLC program, the motor is turned on. After that, 
the HMI changes the circle color, shows the motor is on, and moves the inserted rectangular. Now let's define a practical project with factory I.O. Alright, we want to write a PLC program, to turn on a belt conveyor, and show the number of moved boxes on the digital displayer. Here is a selector to turn on the conveyor, and a digital displayer to show moved boxes. After that, we're going to design an HMI screen, to show boxes position, and the number of moved boxes. We can detect boxes position with these five sensors. And count the number of moved boxes with the last sensor. For PLC, these tags are used. And this is the PLC program. At the first network, the conveyor is turned on by a PLC input or HMI screen. In the next network, a counter count moved boxes. It's expected you can design this plant with factory I.O. and write the PLC program. So let's do the HMI part. Now, let me connect the HMI to PLC. Now, let me use a switch and connect it to the PLC memory, which can turn on the motor. On the right side, from the graphics panel, we can find suitable shapes. Let me insert a conveyor. In the same way, let me insert 5 boxes. I connect these boxes to five sensors. So, when each sensor is activated, related box will be visible. Now, like previous program, I use a red circle if the conveyor is on. Finally, I will use an I.O. field, to show moved boxes.
Now let me test the screen with factory I.O. As you see, I can turn on the motor with the selector, and from the HMI. Also, the position of boxes and the number of moved boxes are shown on the HMI. It seems we must use more sensors or improve the HMI program. In the next video, we'll continue designing HMI screen. Thanks.